So we've been looking at how we can start to calculate the amount of pressure that's created above our solution based upon the amount of solute that is dissolved in the solution. Uh, the first example that we, we've been looking at is what happens to the pressure, that vapor pressure, when we add a non-volatile uh, electrolyte, or not electrolyte, excuse me. Uh, so we add some covalent molecule into the solution. As a result, we've increased the attraction and we see a decrease in the total pressure of the vapor above the, the solution. Uh, now we're gonna look at what happens if we add something that is volatile, something that actually vaporizes fairly easily. So here we've got uh, two kind of pieces. Uh, we could call, we're gonna call one the solute, one the solvent. Ooh, there's 50 grams of each. So I guess we'd go by the one that has the larger mass when we have more on, more of would be the toluene then technically. Uh, but anyway, um, and so we've got two volatile solutions or substances, benzene and toluene. And as a result, they're both going to add particles above the solution that we have to take into account in calculating that vapor pressure. And so here we would need to find the mole fraction of both of our pieces. And then we're just going to multiply by their corresponding original pressures because we've kind of diluted them slightly. Their individual pressures will be lessened, but by finding what percentage or what fraction each occupies in the solution, we can actually figure out how much is going to be present. And so we can go ahead and actually calculate based upon this formula here at the top. Uh, cool, you'll have to forgive me here a little bit. I'm gonna be using my, my finger, and hopefully my fat fingers aren't are too bad here. Uh, ooh, I'm off to a bad start, all right, cool. Um, so first things first, I think we need to get into moles for both of these. We know we've got 50.0 grams of that benzene. As we started, you know, just a little more uh, exaggerated here. Uh, if we look in the periodic table for benzene, it's got a molar mass of 78.11 a gram for every one mole. Uh, when we do that math, we actually come out with a pretty small, uh, small mole value, 0 0.6401 moles of our benzene, our C6H6. Uh, cool, so we know our first mole value here. Uh, let's go ahead and find our other mole value then. Uh, we need to know also the moles of toluene. Well, again, we've got 50, oh my goodness. Let me try that again. We've got 50.0 grams of our toluene with a molar mass now of 92.14 grams per every one mole. When we do our math here, we find that we actually have point. Five, four, two, six, five, two, six, five moles of our toluene, which was C7, excuse me, C7H8. Uh, cool, so we got our two mole values here. Uh, we need a mole fraction, which means we're gonna have to actually take those two values and add them together to figure out our total moles. When we add those two together, uh, it turns out that we actually have total moles of one point. 1828. Um, I know sig figs here are a little funky. I've not rounded to match my sig figs. I kind of kept until we had kind of a statistical drop off in our values. Most correct or most precise answer would be if we were to keep all of our numbers and just round once at the end. Uh, I think we're ready to plug everything in then real quick. We just need to kind of make sure we've got the right numbers. So now we're solving directly for this new total pressure got two volatile substances. Uh, and as an aside, I would never ask you to predict what which would be volatile or whether it's volatile or non-volatile. We can assume that our salts, they're gonna be non-volatile. And unless I tell you otherwise, we assume it to be non-volatile. At this point, we have not had enough organic chemistry to be able to deduce which would be volatile or non-volatile. I'd have to tell you directly. Um, but cool, for this volatile example, uh, we then go ahead and set up our two mole fractions times their original pressures, and then we can find our total pressure. Uh, cool, so if we do the benzene first, we knew we had 0.6401 moles of our benzene over our total moles, which we found to be 1.18, 1 1.1828. Our moles are gonna cancel here, giving us a unitless fraction. We gotta take that times the original pressure from our 
benzene? Well, up in the question, it told us that the pressures were 95 and 28 respectively, meaning in the same order. That means the benzene was that 95.1 tor. Sorry, I gotta make sure I get enough room here. Tor, moles canceled, we're left with tors, which is great. We're gonna add to that the pressure that's coming from our toluene. Our toluene mole fraction is gonna be that 0.54. 5465 right. divided by the total moles, which is our 1.1828. 1 and then we would multiply by its original pressure, which was from above the 28.4 tor. When we go ahead and work our math, we find the final pressure when these two volatile substances get mixed together is 64.4 tor. Cool, just another way we can start to calculate the vapor pressure above a solution, depending upon what we have dissolved into that solution.